We're here at Heritage Bank Stadium for a very special episode. They're Tom Berry and Bailey Humphrey, and this is Bear Your Souls, presented by Culture King. We've got a very special episode of Bear Your Souls today. We're in the Gold Coast Suns locker rooms with two of their young stars, Tom Berry and Bailey Humphreys. Lads, thanks for being here. Ah, thank you. Thank you very, very much for having us. Bailey, I'll start with you. When did you first get into collecting sneakers? Um, mine's probably pretty recently, obviously. Um, being on an AFL list, you get a little bit more money. So um, probably the last year, start of the year and a little bit towards the end of last year. And it's your rookie season, obviously. How did you go bringing everything up here for the first year and settling in? Yeah, um, I had a fair few sneakers uh, middle of last year and yeah, that was probably the, the hardest thing to bring up here was the sneakers. I had a fair few suitcases to bring up here with sneakers, but yeah, um, settled in pretty well. And then Tom, what about you? When did you first get into them? Yeah, I reckon I was probably like two or three years ago. Um, one of the physios at my ex-club was right into them and um, we got along really well and sort of bounced off each other and we used to talk sneaks all the time. So um, started sort of collecting and entering raffles and stuff together and um, yeah, love come from that pretty much. And then obviously looking up here, you've built it up a lot since then, sort of what goes into it? Are you like checking every week trying to get the new releases? Uh, I've probably slowed down a little bit the last, like, last few months. Um, but yeah, I would obviously, Fell in love with Travis Scott um, and then the off-whites. I sort of, yeah, went after the higher end sort of sneaks in the end and um, yeah, they're sort of what I look after, look for now and um, if, I, yeah, if I'm going to buy another pair. And then looking at there, you've got a lot of Travis Scotts like you mentioned. What do you think your favourite is out of his collection? Uh, probably these ones, I reckon. Um, the fragments, yeah, so I feel like it's a pretty clean colourway and um, yeah, obviously I don't wear them too much but when I do, I yeah, usually wear them out for a nice dinner or something, so yeah. Um, Bailey, you mentioned you're buying a lot of Adidas at the moment, a lot of Sambas, a lot of Gazelles. Where's that come from? Um, yeah, great question. I think it's just uh, the Sambas are in fashion at the moment, so um, yeah, I thought if I've got white and I've got the black pair, I may as well adventure out and buy some colourful ones. Are you wearing a lot of colourful shoes day to day or do you like to keep it a bit more neutral? No, nah, probably a little bit more neutral. Um, they're probably my most colourful ones. I've got a pair of red ones as well, so probably just those and the red ones. You got any team coloured ones? A bit of red and yellows? No, nah, no yellow, but I've got the red. Nice, nice. One pair I want to talk about with you is the TNs. Obviously got a bit of a reputation in Australia, but you seem to love them. You've got a pair here, you've got a different pair on. What is it about the TNs that you love? Oh, um, I think I'm from Maui, so <laughs> in Victoria, so they're, they're worn in a different way than I wear them. But um, I think, yeah, that probably just like has how, I, how it come about. Come about. Um, and then, yeah, as I said, I wear them a different way to most people. Like most people wear them as like a little bit of a SHA thing. And yeah, I wear them in a bit more my fashion. So um, yeah, I think that's just where come come about. And you've got a few other Air Maxes there as well. What do you, what do you like about Air Maxes? Um, I think they're just there. Yeah, I think I've got probably chunkier legs <laughs> to most, so they probably suit me. Air Maxes are a bit more chunky and stuff like that, so um, just not too chunky. But yeah, I think that's probably why. And then in comparison, Tom, you've got a lot of Jordan 1s, a lot of Dunks. Are they your sort of go tos? Yeah, they're probably my go tos. So I've got a few um, Air Maxes. So I've got the Gundams, um, and I've just got another, another pair. But um, yeah, the sort of more that streetwear style is what I sort of chase after, and um, yeah, it's always. The way. And then one pair I want to ask you about, you talk about streetwear, but you've got a bit of a high fashion pair there, the, the Dior's. How would you get your hands on those ones? Yeah, actually from a mate, but um, yeah, these are Travis Scott Dior collab. Um, so obviously, my love for Travis Scott and his shoe and um, I love his like clothes and all that sort of stuff and what he drops. So um, yeah, it was more through that. And then um, when I heard that Dior and they were having a collab, I was like, oh, that's pretty sick. So. Um, yeah, I was lucky enough to get my hands on a pair. Is that something you'd look to get more into going forward, a few of those more higher fashion shoes, or do you want to keep it with the sneakers? Uh, yeah, I like Dior and like Louis Vuitton and stuff. Um, some of their sneaker, the new um, Louis Vuitton sneaker way that went out um, with Nike, that collab, that's so sick, but I don't think I've got the cash to be, <laughs> to be dropping that much. So um, oh, I'd love to get my hands on, but probably not for the near future. And then that one you mentioned, the Louis Vuitton, that was off-white as well. You've got a pair of off-white dunks there. What do you like that Virgil was able to do with Nike? Uh, I just like that they're different. Like, I guess you sort of, for me, I like, when I chuck them on you, yeah, they're, they're pretty out there and um, sort of keep, keep the kit pretty plain and but let the shoes do the talking. So um, yeah, I like the, I guess the fact that they're pretty out there and there's different to other sneakers, got the, um, 
got the cable on it and the, the laces, which are pretty cool, so yeah. And you're a proponent for keeping the tag on? Uh, I don't actually roll it when I'm wearing them, nah. I get too many looks from old people thinking, <laughs> what, what the fuck are you doing, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, one pair, Bailey, you said is a new pair for you, you got the Jordan 4. Yeah. What did you like about them? You said they were your first pair of fours. Yeah, um, I just thought they're a bit different to what I normally wear. I don't really wear them, they're probably mids, so um, yeah, I just thought I'd get them and see how they go. And I'm just trying to find a fit that I can rock them with at the moment. I'm struggling with that a little bit, just trying to make sure they don't look like snow boots. But um, yeah, I think, they, yeah, as I said, they're a bit different to what I normally wear. So I think I'm going to try and yeah, venture, venture out and go a little bit down the Jordan path. Talking about what you normally wear, what shoes did you sort of grow up in? You mentioned the TNs a little bit being from Maui, but what were you, what were you lacing up as a teenager? Um, I was just more real casual. Like I, I bought these, these are my first pair of Dunks and they were like probably started last year. So I was just more like, as a kid, I was pretty sporty. So just like runners and stuff like that. So like I wasn't really a sneakerhead growing up, but yeah. Um, then I yeah bought the Dunks and then Dunks were a thing. And so I think, yeah, I wore Dunks a fair bit when, when I got my first pair. What are your friends and family and your mates saying about that watching you get into sneakers? Oh, mum's not a big fan of it. She, <laughs> mum just always is like, I'm like, oh, mum, look, I got a new pair of shoes. And she's like, oh, another pair. Why do you need those? <laughs> And dad calls me an octopus, he thinks, he's like, why do you need so many, so many shoes, you've only got two feet, but um, nah, my, my brothers are alright with it, they, they don't really care, but yeah, mum and dad are a little bit, a little bit off it. And then going from obviously on the streets, we'll jump onto the field now, you've both bought a pair of boots here that are pretty special to you, Bailey, I'll start first, tell us about what these ones are and the meaning they have. Yeah, I've had those for a fair, like a fair few years now, um, wore them in my draft year as well, and wore them in my first couple of AFL games, and then yeah, tried to... Um, I'm pretty uh, superstitious, so I played probably my best footy in those ones. And then when I tried a new pair of boots, I didn't play so good. So I put them always back on when I wanted to, yeah, play good. And um, yeah, as I said, I've worn them for a while, so yeah, they have a fair bit of meaning. Got drafted in them and played my first AFL game in them. You haven't retired them yet. You're still going to rock them next year? Oh, I reckon they're almost done, but <laughs> I'll keep them and see if they. If I'm not playing too good in a pair of boots next year, I'll, I might put them on. And then Tom, tell me about these pair, the Tiempos. Yeah, mine are just, oh, they're pretty plain to be honest. Um, to be honest, I just wear normally all black boots when I play. Um, I don't know why, just a bit of a junkyard dog. <laughs> I, don't need, I don't need anything fancy on, so a um, bit different to my sneaker collection. But yeah, just keep it, keep it um, pretty simple downstairs. Would yeah. you ever want to wear anything a bit more colourful? Or oh, I actually ventured in my last pair of boots um, is like all orange. Nike, so I oh know it's pretty um, pretty out there for me, but um, I didn't play too many games. <laughs> I just had shoulder surgery, so um, might go back to the black, I reckon. And I got one question for both of you. I'll go Tom first. What's your grail? I reckon we Travis Scott's. Yeah, um, they're probably my favourite. I think. Yeah. Is there a colour of them you don't have yet that you're looking for? I want to get the mockers and then the new olive release. I, to be honest, I want all of them, but <laughs> I don't know. If, yeah. I'll see, that's, that's probably later in, later in life, get the whole collection. And then Bailey, what's your you chasing that you don't have? What's the one for you? Um, I am trying to get into a little bit of Travis Scott's as well, so I want the full black Travis Scott's. Um, yeah, they're probably my favourite Travis Scott's, but yeah, they're probably the ones I'm looking for. As always, the folks at Culture Kings came through, sent through the boys a bunch of gear, a few pair of shoes. Fellas, what do you reckon about these? Yeah, clean. Happy with them. Um, nice pair of white shoes, so go with anything, which is good. Yeah, I think Tom's just covered it all pretty much. But um, yeah, we really appreciate Culture Kings for sending it out, sending all the gear, and yeah, they hooked us up, and yeah, we couldn't appreciate it more. Perfect, and I appreciate you boys coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Best of luck with the upcoming season. Thank you very much. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it.